Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my channel Genome you know, White Study. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos. But don't forget to like the video. This is the part 9 of our Genome you know, White Study, and in this video, we will try to learn that how we can prepare the protein family physical property table. We will use the GFF file and annotation file to determine the PFAM ID of our gene, the is enzyme ID and KGG ID and also Go ID and the, what are the closest orthologs in Arabidopsis and or either type of our gene, uh, gene family and the gene description. And also we can also find the chromosome ID, the gene start and end position and strand with the help of GFF file and annotation file in one click. How we can do? Let's start. So this is our Excel sheet and it contains the transcript IDs of our gene family and these are the gene names and these are some properties that we have to determine that chromosome ID, start and position, strand, what type of strand, negative, positive, amino acid number, exon intron ratio and weight in KDs, PI, gravy, subcellular localization, Go ID, KO ID, orthologs in Arabidopsis and description. So you need to open that file folder that have that uh, annotation file. We have downlo already downloaded these files from the phytosome uh, in uh, part two of this series. So you can watch that part two and then uh, know that how we can download these files and then go to others that table text file manipulator table row manipulate and then from here drag this annotation info file to this folder and here check that which i which column contain the same id to our to our gene ids but we have the gene ids like this dot one dot we 1.2 but here you can see the ids are like dot one or dot one dot p so we should make first our protein ids accordingly so here you need to simply copy we will go into new sheet sheet 3 and paste Control H and then from here we can replace this dot V dot dot V one dot two and here we can replace with dot P and replace all. So our IDs are prepared according to this file and this is the column three. So select this column and click on selected done. Now where we put our output directory. So we will open that folder analysis and uh, here we can drag any file in here and write the name uh, physical properties pp.txt and here you can give the IDs so copy these all IDs paste it select all V and then start so it says that you have selected the column 3 is ok yes and then our data is selected so here you can open this file here we have select all copy and then paste here so you need the heading that what type of these are so you need to open that file annotation file and copy this first line these are the heading line copy and paste it 
so this is page id so we didn't need this so you can delete it so this is the locus id transcript id that we already have this is we didn't need this also you can delete it pfm id we okay this is a panther we didn't need so delete it this is ecid this is co or uh, koid so kog you can delete it and koid we can use in the kg analysis this is the go ids and these are the the <clears throat> best hits in uh, Arabidopsis, okay, you can delete this, this is a description and uh, you can also delete these, these are the also logs in Oriza Stiva and these are the description, so we can copy these or copy and go to the our data file and uh, from here paste sorry this is the ec id this is the k o id this is the pfam pfam id this is the go id this is the a Taliana orthologs these are the uh, Oriza Taiva orthologs and this is the description so now so we have get these information in one click now we will use gff file to get this information that chromosome id start and position and strand so like the same way go to the here also uh, this we will use this option table row extract file and we will use this uh, gff file here so here we can check the in which uh, column the id is contained this is the column 8 but uh, it didn't show clearly so we need to open this uh, file so we need to open and check the id open this uh, gff file so here the column and it contain the id is too big that id is equal to and uh, this one and all we also separate this ids uh, because it comes in one column and we didn't have too much this uh, id so we have to try to keep one id in one column so we first need to select all copy open new sheet and paste here all that uh, gff file so we have pasted it so our this column contain this all id so we have to separate this id that one is id is equal to up to here we didn't need this one in one column like uh, other semicolon and other this name so we have to separate it like select and these two ids were separated by semicolon uh, this semicolon so we have to separate this by selecting this column and go to data and text to column delimited next other right here semicolon and next finish so our ids were separated so one is here and other comes in next column so simply we again select all copy and uh, open new file paste and save it save as 
we can say gff2 and save it and you can delete all this from and now we have to go to here then upload this file that we have just made so our eight column this column contain the ids by one here you can see that this id is equal to id is equal to that our transcript id dot one dot v one dot two so we will made our transcript ids like this first like this select it done and also here we can give it where we save our uh, this description so you can drag any file here give it uh, protein properties to file txt and here we give the ids according to this file so it file contains ids like uh, this one control copy select all v but remember uh, when we check so there was a id is equal to in start of every transcript id so we also add id is equal to in the start of every transcript so i have written id is equal in start of every transcript so now click on start so I selected eight column yes and then done yes take to us into directory where you have save our results so here are the results so select all copy open that uh, file so this is uh, you can paste here so the first one this is the chromosome id of each uh, each transcript so control x and paste it in that column so this is the start position so control x and paste here this is the end position of the gene control x and this is the strand that a positive or negative and these are some ids are like this so we didn't need this so you can delete it so in this way you can <clears throat> take out the all the informations in one click from gene, uh, gene annotation file and gfa file while the amino acid exonitron and molecular weight pi gravy and subcellular localization we will try to find out in the next lecture Hopefully it will help you. If you have any query, please comment. Thank you.